Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, someone asked a question. We're going to answer that question. I'll put the video in the tips and tricks section about virtual memory, what it is, and where do you change that in Windows 10 and 11. So your computer, when you turn it on with Windows, has two types of memories that it will use. The RAM memory, which is used mostly by apps and Windows itself for the fact that it's really fast, but it will create what I call a work table or a workspace on your hard drive. And that is usually set automatically by Windows. That workspace can be used to store all sorts of temporary information. Technically, that workspace is created. And when you actually shut down a PC, the workspace is actually removed and created uh, brand new every time you start Windows again. Now, if you don't have enough RAM memory, then what's going to happen is that the virtual memory or that, um, you know, work table is what's going to be used instead. And that will slow down your PC quite a lot because it's not as fast as RAM memory. But in some cases, um, you might, for some reason, need to increase or change the size of the file system. Uh, here, the question is related also to a fact that he says one of his apps that he uses says that there's not enough virtual memory. I'll be very uh, direct here. Pretty much always when that happens, it's a bug. It's a problem with that app. Make sure that it has the latest version if you can. Make sure you update it. Uh, they probably fix that bug, possibly. Or if it's an old app, it can have some kind of memory issues and it's just going berserk a little bit. Sometimes um, an old app like that can actually, you can fix that error message if you increase the size of the virtual memory. So where do you go? Go into your start menu into settings. And then in the settings, you go to your in the system tab. You go into about. And on Windows 10, on the right side here, you'll see Advanced System Settings. And Windows 11 is just here in the middle. Click Advanced System Settings. What's going to happen here is going to bring you to the Control Panel. Now, you might say, why didn't you go to the Control Panel in the first place? For a simple reason, the Control Panel will bring me back to the settings to bring me back to the Control Panel. So I kind of cut it short by going directly to the settings and going to the Control Panel. At the top, you go to Performance. Click settings and on advanced, you have the information here about the virtual memory. Here you can click change. Now by default, it says that on all drives, 2,432 megabytes are used as a page file system for virtual memory. Click change. Here, all you have to do is of course, remove the automatically manage and go into custom and put a size here of minimum and maximum that you might want to use. So the minimum should always be what's recommended. 2924, as you see here at the bottom, put that as a minimum and then maximum size, um, you know, just choose a bigger amount. Now, remember that takes space on your hard drive. So that means that if you are increasing the virtual drive, you are going to also be using more space on the hard drive. That means you need to know how much space you have in order to not go overboard because you can actually run out of uh, hard drive space uh, in, in, in your uh, hard drive. So uh, you can go to this PC and you can look at local disk C or whatever drive you're going to use how much uh, space <coughs> is available of uh, the total disk space so you don't go overboard. Uh, so you can try to increase it. And of course, you can go back and just put the automatic process if you want to have automatically done uh, in general. So that's where you do it. And uh, like I said, most of the time when a message pops up of you're running out of virtual memory, it's more of a bug in the software than an actual um, you know, missing of virtual memory most of the time, but that's how you do it in Windows 10 and Windows 11. Still with an old trick going through the control panel. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.